So this is our pink zipper zoanthids. It's hard to see how pretty they are when they're out of water. What we're going to do is cut under them and cut them off the rock, and then we'll frag individual frags of this coral. This also has some different zoanthids on here, as well as a mushroom. Um, so I'm going to do my best to stay away from those um, while still getting the corals fragged that I want to frag off of here. cut off. There's no coral exposed on that, so that's a good cut. When I cut, I've tried to stay away from the flesh as much as I can so I don't damage it. You can see the coral polyps are still open, so it's not stressed out too bad at all. So we're going to go ahead and keep cutting at this. I'm just going to carefully take off small portions so I don't actually hit the flesh of the polyp, which could kill it. That's about 15 polyps, and they're all nice and big. You see, as I cut, there's a little string that connects each group of corals, so I'm going to cut right in between that string. It's not going to stress it out to cut it at that point. It's the actual polyp you don't want to injure, so I'm going to go right in between there and we'll get a nice big frag. big chunk of it set on my frag plug. After I've cured my frag plugs, you don't want to use dry frag plugs because once you put it in the water, it's going to put a lot of dust and residue in there that's just not good for your water quality. So I'm going to get my frag plugs all ready to go. I've got my corals all cut up and I will just match them up to the frag plug. Nice flat bottom so it's easy. It sticks right on the frag plug and the glue. Really nice. And set it on there. You can see our corals are still really happy despite being cut into pieces. 
date frags here we're going to get down. These frag plugs will just make it easier to place anywhere in your rock that you'd like. I like to let them sit out of water for about two or three minutes um, at least and let that glue dry. It's not going to hurt the coral at all. The coral actually releases a slime that protects it from being out of water, just like high tide, low tide. So don't be concerned with the coral being out of water. It is just fine. It's used to it. So a little space for the big one here. That's a great, great starter colony there. All right, so I'm going to let all those sit, and after they've sat for a couple minutes, I'm going to dunk them back in my salt water dunk tank that I leave all my corals to sit in. Um, I don't want to include this water with the rest of my system because it has all the slime coat that comes off of the coral after it's been stressed out. Um, so I want to keep that water separate and it's just for dipping the coral after I've cut it and glued it. Um, once it's sat in there for about three, four, or five minutes, um, I'm going to move all the coral over into my main coral frag tank and it's good to go. sit for about three to five minutes and once it's settled and I know that the glue is solid I'll move it into my frag tank it's good to go